Um, if I'm doing something like this, I do. Or if I'm with my friends, I do. If I go sitting and working all day, every time I have to Seeing the humor on the face, I will never feel the humor to be important, to be fine, to be humanated, to be energetic. So I think that's the most important And then I wrote a lot of things. 65 questions versus 6. And I did this study once to a group of people who are in the camp. And the problem is that you said 65 meetings that were both active. I don't know if you want to question. Three of them have been for 10 years. But that did. You guys, I mean, you know that. They're constantly asking questions, right? It's that curiosity that kids have. Um, but we certainly use that. So, creative thoughts, laughing, and asking questions, and being curious. And in fact, I need to tell you, uh, we'll see some different numbers and different um, uh, percentages in, in terms of what helps you be successful in the 21st century. And what I would say is curiosity. From my experience with being human, curiosity is one of the things that people talk about. Curiosity leads to innovative ideas, innovative ideas leads to the brain, all the things that you have to do, and then we start to get into some more positive things. So before we start talking about using your brain in a positive way, I want to talk about a really important thing in this space, which is multitasking. So who's good at multitasking? Good. Okay, you guys are so far ahead. That's great. <laughs> Usually, every single person in the room raises their hand. Um, when I look at people's resumes, and very often people have on their resumes a multi and I see something like that. I just look at it. Um, because the thing you can do with one is to do the other. And someone in one of my leadership classes gave me a great um, poster, and it says, multi passing really not several things at once. And I think that's really true because we do make a lot more things in multitasking. So I have a quick exercise for you guys. If that's what the sheets on your table are for, I'm trying to find the bottom. Watch here. Okay, 
So just do the first two lines of the question. Just write M1, U2, L3. So pick through. And you see what you're doing? Come to me and write it on the top. So you're switching your brain between different things.
most people tell me that's far longer than they can get to go so fast. And they go, So 
public suggestions on how, how you guys think about prison. How do you ensure that you are the most productive in what you do? What do you do? You said it's going to be best. That's kind of the focus. So you're sitting there, you know that's what you do. What else? Anybody else? Okay, so it's been hard to do it. It really helps. It's a thing. Yeah. Something else. Well, I always make deals with myself. Oh, I like to like, know, like, have, and you can, have ice cream. Or, oh, I, that's, that's, what I that's fantastic. Giving yourself a good work. That's great. You're so good. 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 You're so here are some, some tips um, based on productive people, and this comes from a couple of different um, research studies, but focus on what's important, and what we're going to talk about next is vision and goals. Um, but focus on what's important, and distinguish between important and urgent. There are some things that are urgent in life, but most of them are just not important. So urgent is, you know, 8.30 and you have a test in mind. Urgent is that last minute review. But these things are just important, and so understand the priorities for you. Um, create boundaries for you. And that's the chunking or give yourself a reward. Make a plan. And, and I'll talk about this with goals. People say, oh, I have a plan. It's not enough to have a window. You have to write it down. Why do you have to write it down? What happens when you write things down? It becomes, it becomes an action. It's an action item for you, absolutely. You're making a different level of commitment to it when you write it down. Our brain just uses it differently when you write it down. It's just kind of so it's a different level of commitment. It's a reminder. It's encouraging us to take action. You must write it down. So have a weekly plan and have a daily plan. I have a notebook here, you know, one of those black and red. I have everything by day, and I can show you my notebooks for like the last 10 years. And, and I, like, if I use my notebook, you know, my notebook, and there's like, 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 um, and I have these things, like, like, daily, because it's the only way I can keep on track. So I really encourage you to write the goals down, very important, and then you can write them down, and then you can write the goals 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 down, don't always be that person falling to do everything. Um, you know, network, use technology in a positive way, not in a kind of co-distracting way, but there are you know, lots of apps that people come back to us. Um, create set routines. Routines are really good. You know, you get up in the morning, you exercise, you have to do stuff, you study, whatever. Those routines are really powerful because they, they create a lot of Um, you need time on it, you know, you have 15 minutes sitting in the car someplace, Love that book. Study, but do it for 15 minutes. Really focus on doing it. Use that time really well. Make intentional decisions, not default. So we're going to talk about that. Chunk your time. The only thing with procrastination is the worst first. I have to remind myself constantly of this because the worst I do is I do these things first. And there's this one problem with that, but I do these things first. But while that hard thing is really funny, it's like, this is something that I preach all the time. No when good enough is good enough. We do not have to be extraordinary all the time. All the over the and I put myself in that frame. Good enough is generally Good enough. Extraordinary, you really don't have to be that. You certainly do that. So, knowing the difference between getting it done is better than what happens. Getting it done is good or bad. Don't be So, understanding that it's really important. And done is always better than not done and first. So, it's really good enough. Um, and the last one is a slack time. <laughs> we have, in order for your brain to be 
be able to think about new ideas, it has to have some white space. And I don't know about you guys, but my brain a lot of times has no white space. There's not, there's not space for new ideas. And the only way I can create that space is to just
the outside. Yeah. So he stood up in Comdex, which is a big tech show, um, where that was. He stood up at Comdex, Comdex, and he said, my vision for the iPod is I'm going to put a thousand songs in the iPod. And everybody laughed in the spot with me. That's a pretty defined vision. A thousand songs in the iPod. But he did far more than that for the iPod, right? He played multiple thousands of songs. And it's gotten smaller to a one of those little bit mini iPad things. And now it's just an app on our phone, right? So, I mean, he had a very specific vision, but every decision he made was driving towards that vision. And that's what's important in the future. So you'll see up here, and I just wanted to give you a sample vision, and that's my vision, actually. Um, and I feel like it's every single year, 2017, do it every single year. And I have sub points, and I check them off. And it's written down. Why is it written down? Solid, reminds me, holds me accountable, and really talks to me, because I love to check things off. It's like people who um, write down things they've already done on their to-do list, they like the <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do that? Come on, don't say why do you do that? Oh, I did that today. Oh, I didn't have it on my list. I'm going to write down this. You feel that. This makes you really good to check things off. My life has to be very focused. My life has to be focused on. So, my vision is to be present with family and friends. So, that's the most important thing in my life. Um, I think it's important too. So, that's the most important. I notice it's red. While expanding my business, because I'm very detailed, I'm very passionate about what I do, I love what I do. So I want to I want to keep expanding that. Um, I want to always be better at communication and listening to people. I all oh my gosh, it's so going. I'm so really um, seek adventure is what that's supposed to say. I like important to me have adventure in life. Important for me to be personally working and I challenge my kids. So then those red letters are then what I've broken out as themes. So each of these themes, I have sub goals under family, friends, business, communication, adventure, growth, and fitness. So like for family and friends, an example is I prioritize the time with people that I enjoy. I have contact with my kids who have grown four times a week, either text, email, or phone. These are just things that I have prioritized. Business, I'm doing things like this presentation, a certain number that I try to do every year. Communication, adventure, we take we travel a lot. So it's my trips, roads, I'm learning Spanish. Why? I don't know. I just thought I'd learn some Spanish sometimes. Fitness, I do at least four triathlons a year, six five Ks, one marathon. I mean I have it all written down exactly what I'm going to do. And at the end of the year, I'll pretty much get these things because I stayed on track with it and it's kept focused. So obviously, your destination thing is what? In 27 months, you will huh? to the team day, right? But there are other things that are important in your life as well, whether that's fitness, whether that's time with friends, whatever. So I can't encourage you stronger enough to write it down and to have goal themes and then your goals under those. Because if you do that, you stand such a great chance of accomplishing it and you can do it successfully. Yeah, questions on that. I spent hours talking about this before I just gave it to you guys. Do you have any questions? Do you see the value of that? Yeah. yeah. My question is, like, do you and your visionary people for like in your five years? Like, I do. I have mine. Do you have it written down? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Fantastic. And, but no, that's good. But I just wondered if you go longer than that. Because I find that sometimes just doing it year out doesn't really get you far enough on the journey. I think it really that where you choose to be and what you're going to do and prioritize. Yes. Yes. I do do that. Um, I keep that in a separate place in the journal. But yes, I'm always looking for things out. Now, that makes a difference for age too. So, so you know, I don't have to look quite this far. I mean, I don't even mean that many that. But <laughs> my my career is in a different place. I'm winding down with that. I, I think, you know, when you're in your in your twenties, in your thirties, in your forties, in your fifties, I think it's important that you have that five years. Companies just have a ten year plan. It's pretty impossible to do a ten year plan a lot. Things change too much. I 
you know, so it's kind of a useless fuel exercise. So I would say five years is probably a good thing to do. Um, but if you want to go out on it, that's great. Right. It's perfect. I mean, the best thing is that you're doing that. So, that's right. um, okay, goals. Has everybody seen about, I'm kind of running out of time here, so I'm really fast. Has everybody seen about smart goals? They have to be specific. They have to be able to measure them. They have to be attainable. So that's, that's another one for realistic. They have to be relevant. Why? Why do we use R for realistic? I, I use it for relevant. What's the difference? Why do they have to be relevant? They're not relevant to something bigger that you want, the vision. They're, if you're not even more to do it. So you want it to be relevant. And then you have to be on the timeline. Um, so specific. I always use this example for this question. You just want to understand. When my kids were young, I used to say, go clean your room. I walk up, my daughter's going to clean, and my clean. My son's room would on the surface look clean, but if I open the closet door, <laughs> under the bed, everything shoved in the desk door. And I would say, wait, go so clean your room. It's not clean your room. He's like, I did. It's clean. Under the closet and under the bed. He said, you didn't tell me any of those things. You told me to clean my room. And you know what? He's right. So, I'm wondering, you need to clean your room. And you can use the bed, and you talk about the way, and you can use the Lord. I had to be specific, because we all hear things very differently. My daughter heard it as, oh, you need to clean your room. My son heard it as, oh, I'm not going to clean your room. Okay, so, specific is important. So, step to creating vision. Know what the destination point is. What is that big picture that you want? Whether that's one year, five years, seven years, you know, whatever. Have goal themes. Those are the things that I had in red. Um, things that are the first level of your goal. Have smart goals. Commit to them and take action. And you will have success one goal at a time. We look at things to do. You have to look at things in chunks and one goal at a time. One goal at a time is closer and closer and closer and closer to completion. So don't think of it as this huge thing. Look at things. Okay. Does anybody have stress in their life? Anybody have stress? <laughs> anybody not have stress in their life? <laughs> um, if you read articles and you sort of stress, it's not the word that. Um, it can be a really good thing to do properly. So again, instead of thinking of stress as danger, I want to try to help you think of it as a And it's, it's a balance. You know, stress is in our life to help us avoid dangerous situations, it's that fear or flight thing. But it also, in the meantime, motivates us to get things done. Um, when we're stressed out about the deadline, the deadline is approaching, 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 we're stressed, but we know we've got to get done, and it's really motivated for many people. How many of you are the people who have something to do and you wait for the last day to get it done? Come on, be honest. Okay? A lot of people like that. Then there's the people that have a job week ahead of time, okay? We can have time people, stress isn't going to motivate us. In fact, it's the opposite of that. But the people that wait for the last minute, that's a, that's a motivating thing. It's okay for them. Um, creative is kind of hard. Some of the most inventive things that happen during legendary bad times in our economy. Because you have to be much more innovative um, and, and, and creative. So a couple of quotes about handling stress. I like the first one. Um, go slow to go fast. And I think that's part of the editing why we live in so long and that's how we get. But if we understand one of the most important things in our life, then we can get it done. I like the last one too, because it's about the intentional decision. The greatest weapon of stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. Right? Um, so it can help us if we harness it. Um, it's a key for survival, so too much of it can be bad for us, but if we can harness that stress to be a positive thing, it can help us. Um, we're not the first generation to face stress, and I don't know if you guys talk about this in the medical field, but it's starting to be, we've always been doing stress is bad for you, bad for you, and wounds are in your stomach, and it's hard to figure out all of these things. But some research is starting to tell us that stress actually is promised properly, can be a positive thing. Because what it does is it sharpens your memory and your focus and your 
remember those structures to live in their school. Um, it's, it can boost our immune system in some ways because it's, uh, our body is fighting back against it and help you get a leg up at work. Definitely can be your life form and stress form. And there's two things with stress that people find that if you can conquer that stress, it oftentimes gives people more courage and it gives them a sense of accomplishment. So those, it's not being in stressful situations, it's how you handle these stressful situations, it's how you turn it into an opportunity. And the courage, you're going to still have stress, but if the result of that stress is you, you gain courage and you know that the next stressful situation that comes along, you can handle it, you can conquer it. If, if it helps you accomplish something that's a fear for you and you accomplish it, you feel really good about that, which then inspires you to accomplish more things that can bear you a fear for you. So I have two, I have two funny, I um, um, pictures up there. You may see the better. That's in Norway. That's a boulder. It's in two boulders. And it's 2,000 meters now. And that's my dog. She is a um, conquer um, stress, but gives me courage. That is a very, very positive thing for her to be able to do things like that. It's my dog when I look at it. That is not what I am capable of doing. But she rock climbs, she, she does this stuff regularly, and she's very quiet, she's a very reserved person, but she's probably the most courageous person I know because she knows she can do this thing. The other one is my son on the left hand side there, who is terrified of heights. <laughs> he gets up from me. And he's standing on that cliff, jumping, and afterwards he was like, that was awesome! Oh my gosh, this is great! Time. So what has that done for him? He accomplished that. That's a good thing. He knows he can do that. So he accomplished and he's overcome that fear. Both of those are very stressful situations, which has very positive outcomes. So I want you to start thinking about what the positive thing. Um, use use um, the stress to motivate you. You know, have a mind that parts of you that let go, move on. Something that when you're in a stressful situation, can make you look at it as an opportunity. Um, shift your thoughts and identify the stresses in your life. And, and just think about stress as a thing that can be actually pretty good for you, good for your body and good for your mental health. Okay, so we talked about adjusting your thoughts. We talked about the power of positive vision, um, taking action, and achieving success one goal at a time. Um, I love this quote by Donnie, I'm sure all of you have you know, can change, can change in your world, whatever you can do. And as, as I'm going to, um, as you do that, you can do that, but celebrate along the way. Celebrate the small accomplishments that you have for you. Any questions? Thank you for your time today.